so cool because it was last last September. Um, I told my doctor, I'm ready to get my life back. And it still kind of gets me emotional because at 322 pounds, there was just going to be no way I could get to him in time. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hi and welcome. My name is Liz. This past March 8th of 2022, I had a vertical sleeve gastrectomy, also known as VSG. It is a weight loss surgery. I have been updating you guys throughout my journey. I am seven months post-op and I am down 113.2 pounds since my highest weight. My weight day of surgery was 300 pounds and I am currently 208.8. And I, <laughs> I'm smiling ear to ear because I honestly cannot remember the last time I weighed that much. I, I know I, when I was in college, I weighed like 180 I think 188 was like the lowest that I got and I was like in a size 13 pants um but I was really active you know I was like 20 22 years old whatever how old I was um and I'm 34 now and I'm 5'11 and for that to be my weight is pretty awesome so I started implementing more exercise. You guys have probably seen it on TikTok. There is this like hula hoop trend. And so I bought that because I thought that would be a really cool and interesting way to exercise and also like have fun with my kid. And I'm going to start implementing weight training. I'm kind of just working slowly into my new exercise routine. So I'm doing that a couple times a week. And so far I'm enjoying it. It's, it's not as easy as it looks. I asked over on Instagram what you guys wanted to know about my surgery. Actually, I only got one response. A good friend of mine here on YouTube, Carla Michelle. Um, thank you, Carla, for the question. Um, and I think a lot of people actually wonder this, so I'm glad you asked it. So she asked, can you be a self-referral for this surgery or does your doctor have to refer you? So obviously you can like, I guess there's like a two part to this question. Yes, you can be, you have to be the person that says, hey, like I, I'm, I'm ready for weight loss surgery. Um, I've been thinking about it a lot and I think that I've done everything I can and this is kind of like my last stitch effort to lose the weight. I need some kind of restriction to help me be successful in my weight loss journey. So the first thing that I did was I did a lot of research. I looked online for um, ideas about what the success rates were and what is the probability of gaining the weight back and what does the surgery look like? How long is it? Um, I had to call my insurer and make sure that I was actually, I actually qualified for this weight loss surgery. Some people actually pay out of pocket. I was lucky enough to qualify just because my BMI was over 41. So I did qualify for insurance to cover the cost of surgery um, and all of like the classes I had to take, like the nutrition classes. And that was really awesome for me because it also gave me an incentive to just keep going. Um, I was approached with asking about weight loss surgery, I don't know, maybe since I was a teenager. Um, I was always heavy um, and unfortunately genetics kind of played a role in that. And I also had a terrible relationship with food. I use it as my comfort mechanism and honestly didn't have any self-control. And I feel like, you know, you think about it, like anytime you go somewhere, there is food, right? Whether it's a birthday party or some kind of celebration, there is going to be food involved. So I struggled with that. I would put a bunch of stuff on my plate and never thought about portion control until I started doing like diets. And that was really sad. I think about it now and I'm like, I was like a teenager and I thought a diet would help me lose weight. And it would, it would help me get down those 20 pounds. But I really needed something that would, again, make me successful. And having doctors talk to me later on in my life, like when I was in my I don't know, mid to late 20 is like, hey, have you thought about weight loss surgery? That scared me. That was something that I 
never wanted to do. And I think a lot of it was because a lot of the people that I love and love me, that scared them. Surgery is is not an easy thing to go through. It, your body goes through a lot and there are always complications to any surgery that you that you go under. Um, and so I think that a lot of times that would always guide my direction of me not wanting to have the surgery. And I kept thinking, this diet isn't working or portion control isn't working or exercise isn't working. Obviously it was working, but I wasn't sticking to it, right? I, I would do it for a week or two and then I would see any success and I would see, you know, the scale wouldn't change or it would change or it would go up and I would get discouraged and I would just quit. So that was always like this cycle that I had where I just felt discouraged and I needed more support. So finally last year, this is so cool because it was last, last September, um, I told my doctor, I'm ready to get my life back. I want to play with my kid. Hi, Luz. Hi. 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 You know, I want, hi. Guys, this is Lucy. <laughs> um, I want to get my life back and I wanted to play with my kid and God forbid, and I've said this before and I'll say it again because it still scares me. God forbid a ball goes across the street and my son ran over to get it. Could I get to him in time? And it still kind of gets me emotional because at 322 pounds, there was no way. At 322 pounds, there was just gonna be no way I could get to him in time. And I feel like People ask like, what was your breaking point? What was the point where you thought, I need to do this. This is something that is my last resort. And I feel like, I feel like I kept thinking about my son. And some of you may know, it took us a long time to conceive him and to just get pregnant took a very long time. We were going through IVF and we took a break for a little bit. And after five long years, we finally were pregnant with our miracle baby. And I think about that all the time, about how blessed I am and how lucky I am to have been able to get pregnant at 300 pounds. And that was, <clears throat> that was hard. <clears throat> that was a hard pregnancy. Um, sorry, I'm kind of getting off topic. So every time I think about that, I think about the decision that I made for me and for my family and mostly I mean, for my son, mostly for me. I didn't feel good. Sorry, guys. I didn't want this to be like a huge sap fest. But this is real life. This is emotions, a feeling depressed and worthless and hating pictures and going places because I was always so fearful that people would look at me um, differently. I would feel uncomfortable, whatever, or you know, what have you. So I took my life back and it was honestly the best decision I have ever made in my whole life. I will look at the mirror as I pass by. I put on makeup now, I do my hair now, I buy cute clothes, I can fit in cute clothes. I can, I'm finally like knowing what my style is because as a plus size woman, I never really, you don't have that many options, right? You have like, and I've said this before, you have like cheetah and black and white and gray and what have you, but I'm finally finding a style that I feel confident in and I feel good in. So seven months post-op, I feel phenomenal. I feel like I've never felt before. Um, I can do things easier. I sit in my car easier. My seatbelt fits better. Um, I can wear things that I never thought I would wear. I just feel different in the best way possible. I can pick up my son easier. Exercise is easier. 
um, when my husband hugs me, I don't feel self-conscious. And you guys, he loves me. We've been together 17 years and he has loved me at all sizes that I have been. And I was always self-conscious. Obviously, like it's your body, you're going to feel self-conscious. And when he would hug me, I'd be like, okay, he's going to touch a roll or he's going to feel some fat that I have. And you guys, he doesn't care. He never cared. Um, I asked him, I was like, do you think I'm more attractive now than I was when I was 322 pounds? You know what he said? I have loved you for you, every size you've ever been. But what I do love the most right now is your confidence. And I think that that I don't ever feel like I remember having confidence before. I finally do. It's wonderful. Oh, I want to tell you guys. So at my six month post-op, which I had on this past Tuesday and it went really well. They did all of my blood work. Um, they did my weight and blood pressure and oxygen and all that stuff. So everything looked good. My blood pressure was a little bit high. The top number was a little bit high, but that's only because, okay, so this is what they do. <laughs> they call you in, you go in right there. So you're like not running, but you know, you're keeping up with them. You immediately have to take everything off. You go get your weight. They do your blood, they do your oxygen. Then you go to the other room and then they do your blood pressure. And it's like, I haven't sat in enough time for them to, for my blood pressure to go down. So my blood pressure is always high. I also have white coat syndrome. And I know people say that that's like not real, but you guys, it is real. Um, I feel very anxious when I go to the doctors. I always have, even if I bring my son to the doctors, I still get anxious. Um, but other than that, I mean, she wasn't concerned. So that was fine. Oxygen was fine. And then... When she went over my numbers, she was like, you have lost 60% of 60 of your body fat. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's, that's, that's good, right? 60%, that's pretty good. And she was like, vertical sleeve gastrectomy patients, so VSG patients, usually we want between 35 and 40% of your total body fat to be lost, right? She said bypass patients are usually 60. And so she said, you fall in line with a bypass patient, which bypass um, surgery is a lot more to it than the VSG. Like they take out your stomach, they reroute everything. It made me feel really, really good. 60% is huge. Like in, in seven months, that's pretty awesome. Okay, so if you guys have questions about the surgery or my weight loss or what steps I took to get where I am, please leave your questions in the comments. You can also DM me. Um, I also have, I'm very active on my Instagram. So I'll put that handle down here or here. Um, it'll just be down below so that you guys can contact me if you have questions. Let me know if you guys like these updates. I, I know that like once I get to my goal weight, which I have probably about 20 more pounds left to lose to get to my personal goal weight. Um, I want to keep continuing to talk about weight loss, my weight loss journey after like I've like maintaining my weight loss, I guess. And I'm kind of scared of that because I don't want to, I won't want to lose more, <clears throat> but I don't want to gain it back. So trying to figure out like how to do that and maintain, um, it's going to take some time, but I... I know it'll be it'll be fine. I also wanted to tell you guys, I I want to thank you guys for always just coming over to my channel and supporting. Um, it means a lot to me, and I can't even begin to tell you how much it does mean to me. I really, really appreciate it. And when you subscribe and click that um, that thumbs up button and the notification bell, um, it really helps out my channel. This has become such a wonderful hobby of mine, and a tool to help me reach out to others that have struggled with weight and are considering weight loss surgery, you know, have maybe have had weight loss surgery and kind of sharing my journey. It's also really awesome for me to look back at all of these jur like journal entries, I guess you could say, just to see my progress. Um, it just makes me feel really good about seeing how far I've come. So I just wanted to tell you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. You all mean so much to me. Every time you comment on the videos, it just, it warms my heart and I love talking to you guys. So 
keep those comments coming. Um, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you a part of the Boss Lady Liz journey. Um, but I think that's it. Again, if you have questions, let me know. I'm here. I'm all ears. So yeah, I'll see you guys next Thursday for a brand new video. Um, but until then, have a amazing weekend, an amazing week, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.